Deep in the jungles of northeast peninsula Malaysia, a movement is taking form. A blockade set up by Orang Asli Aborigines in Kelantan in protest of extensive logging in the ancestral homeland. The blockade grew from a boom gate and a few huts in September to nearly 20 a few weeks later. Kalau kerajaan dihentikan pembalakan, baru kita henti blokad. Itu itu tujuan kami. Kalau jumlah dia hari itu masa blokad 200. Mungkin sekarang sangat kalau kita kira mungkin menambah juga termasuk wanita lah. Lepas tu kanak-kanak kita berjuang ni untuk jelas siapa akan datang. Sebab tu kanak kena jadi datang, dia ada hak juga. These people are from the Temia tribe and have lived here for possibly thousands of years. Ah ini lukisan bukan baru, bukan kami kami cetak, tetapi ini adalah original. Yang kami selalu tahu ini adalah kesan orang-orang tua tua kami dulu lah. But heavy logging for many years has threatened their way of life. Dulu mesti ada, tapi sekarang ni tak ada lah benda ni. Cuma cuma kita apa ni tunjuk buat kenangan, buat kenangan saja. Tempat kami kekurangan, jadi kami pun nak buat tak apa semua. Jadi kena bergantung kepada bekalan daripada luar. Luar lah. Kami pendapatan tidak ada, tidak ada setiap bulan. Biasanya macam hari ke hari. Macam tu, macam hari ni nasib lah apa ni pisang potong jual dalam tiga puluh empat puluh tu je lah. The effects of the logging are clear. Destroyed landscapes, logging tracks, and logs left behind to waste. Nearby rivers that the Tamiya depend on are polluted. Kelantan Forestry Department officials did not respond to emails or phone calls on the matter, but its website did show the Bala jungle was one of Kelantan's biggest forest reserves. More than 80% of it is zoned as production forest, which means it can be logged. It's not clear which parts of it are where the Tamiya live. In late September, thugs and some men wearing police vests tried to destroy the blockade. Two weeks later, the Kelantan Forestry Department put up a daily checkpoint that runs from about 9am to 5pm, a couple of kilometres from the blockade. Orang Asli can go in and out of the jungle freely. But everyone else needs a permit. You bawa lah asli berapa ratus orang pun ada tu tak tak lagi. Kalau mak lanjut, you pergi kota baru, you pun mengaruh kita. This man says he's been into this forest many times to help set up solar power for the Temia, but not today. Is this the uh, second time for you guys coming up here? Yeah, many times. Huh? Many times. times. Yeah. Have there been forestry guys here before? No. Before when you guys came mm. into in, inside the jungle, did they ever tell you? At the same time, the Temia aren't letting the forestry department in. Saya cuba pergi nak melalui ke ke kamp orang asli yang dia di bawah di atas bukit sana blok ke sana. Saya jawab tempoh dia tidak membenar ke pergi. Ini saya mahu tahu sebab apa. Saya cakap ini orang jawab tempoh saya hendak jawab tempoh tapi dia cakap tak boleh. Saya tanya siapa dia ketua kamu dia cakap semua orang ini ini ketua orang ketua. The Tamiya are letting some, like the health ministry, through. This standoff is expected to go on until the Tamiya's demands are met. Kami nak ditirapkan wilayah tanah adat orang asli. Mana kalau di warta ni apa ni bawah bawah jagaan kerajaan lah. Apa aja nak suka aja nak buat dia buat. Kalau kerajaan masih membalak lagi. Masih berkerasan lagi, kami akan tetap buat bloket besar-besaran. Di seluruh Kelantan, mana yang melibatkan pembalakan. Mana kami berjaga berterusan, mana-mana mana-mana wilayah. 
mana-mana kampung ha, tidak dibenarkan siapa masuk ha, pembalakan. The orang asli are determined to stay. Their mistrust of government agencies has led them to bar people such as the Forestry Department of Klantan from coming in past this blockade. And they have a warning. If the logging continues and if the government doesn't listen to what they have to say, they'll take this blockade to across Klantan to wherever the orang asli are. I'm Patrick Lee, reporting for the Star TV.